Fred here, welcome back to the Gun Geek channel. In this episode, I will be reviewing the CRKT KISS two-timer knife. Okay, before we get started with the unboxing, I would um, like to take this opportunity first to thank uh, all the new subscribers that have been coming to my channel. And I, I have mad, bad voodoo to thank for a lot of those subscribers lately. But um, I wanted to thank everybody in the video. It's getting kind of hard for me to try to keep up with um, all, go, going back to the profile pages of everybody who su subscribes and thank them. Because that's what I'd like to try to do. Um, hopefully I'll get around to everybody. I, I do want to show my appreciation. Anyway, um, I do think it's pretty cool the way Mad Bed has um, a lot of props out there. So I... I dug around and tried to find something that I could use unique for my channel so hope you think it's pretty cool we have a uh, optical illusion here I'll show you at the end how that's done I also um, made something up here I was at my local um, Army Navy surplus store and picked up one of these inert grenades and you know if anybody wants to Try that Kool-Aid, even after everything is said and done. Here you go, go for it. <laughs> and uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started with the unboxing. There's uh, nothing truly remarkable about the CRKT box. It does have a label on it that is probably too bright to see. Let me see if I can dim that a little bit. Just stating the number of the knife and the uh, model which is the KISS two timer and it's made in Taiwan and they they do all that recycle green stuff so sorry about the heavy breathing we have the knife wrapped in plastic now the first thing you notice when you take the knife out of the box is this warning or this caution basically stating that this is a light duty knife it's uh, not for even medium use or heavy use so if you're if you're thinking about using this as a you know daily carry knife you might want to think twice about that it, it's not up to anything but light tasks at least according to this caution Now this is a very cool knife. That's why I bought it. While I was at Bass Pro the other day, I uh, was just looking for something really cool to pick up. And here it is. Now there's a couple of unique things about this besides uh, it looking cool just right from the start. Let, let's go ahead and go over the outside. You have a clip. It's pretty strong. It has a safety right here I'll show you what that's all about here in a second now the way you deploy this knife is just push up it was very stiff when I first got it I had to put some oil right here this is like a little indent that sort of locks into this notch in the blade and that helps it stay put when it's closed um, also if you notice it's missing a scale. It's open on one side. That's one of the unique things about the KISS line of knives from CRKT. So let's go ahead and open it. It has a nice click. It has a frame lock. You can see how that locks right there. But the KISS 2 doesn't stop there with this one blade. If you notice, something strange right there. So you have this Tano style blade and I'm going to go ahead and fold back one of the blades so you can see how that one blade fits into the other I'm going to go ahead and fold this one down and you have a second blade and they both came, well this one came reasonably sharp the outer blade, the larger tonneau blade did not oh, well that's interesting um, once you have the one blade deployed, it doesn't look like the... Oh, there it goes. I was going to say the second one didn't. It just was a little stiff. So Now, the blades are both chisel-style um, blades. They're, they're 
only it's completely flat on this side and it's chisel ground on this side this blade is pretty fat if you look at that pretty fat I have a hard time trying to figure out the use of this knife I mean tunnel blades are usually a a weapon type blade extremely strong and everything but they're saying it's a light duty knife probably because it's missing the support of a second scale so I'm really having a hard time trying to figure out the use of this knife in this particular configuration you know I mean the the second blade God, I'm just breathing hard um, the sec ouch fuck and I'm bleeding all over the place If you're an avid knife owner like me, you should keep carpet cleaner close at hand. I recommend Hot Shot Carpet Cleaner. It gets the blood out. Now back to the show. Now that I have demonstrated the inherent danger of this uh, model knife by CRKT, um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the safety. The safety is right here. You go ahead and push it forward and that prevents the frame lock from moving. So it locks your blade open. The specifications for this knife is that the weight is 2.8 ounces and the steel is all 420 stainless steel. It's kind of soft, but you know, this is a small knife. It's a light duty knife, so you're not going to use it for anything other than, you know, paper, cardboard, your light duty things. And, I, and I'm hard pressed to even place this larger blade into even that role, you know, carrying it even as a light duty knife because it's a tonneau blade but it's, you know, really fat but you're not supposed to use it for anything other than light duty and tonneau blades are meant to be strong so you could use them for uh, medium and, and heavy duty kind of work so it's kind of a, you know, it's it's a knife that's looking for a role that I, I don't think it defines very well anyway, again, you had that smaller knife and you know that would probably be used 90 percent for what the define role is for light duty anyway this uh really i'm almost afraid to handle this thing now um so there it is the uh kiss two timer cost me about 44 bucks and it's definitely a neat knife and it's a cool knife to have okay so the trick on this guy is that it's an optical illusion. I'm going to bring this guy forward so you can see. See his head's moving there. Now watch when I uh, turn it around all the way. Uh, see? Now you get it. Pretty neat, huh? Optical illusion. So there you have it. I just thought that would be kind of interesting. Sort of found this on the internet, cut it and uh, taped it and put it back. You know, put it together according to the instructions. I don't know. I put this together a long time ago. It was, uh, I guess if you Google Gathering for Gardener or something like that. If uh, I'm making the video, if I have time, I'll put the link below if you want to mess with that guy. And this concludes my bloody view of the CRKT KISS 2 Timer. Again, thank you for su subscribing. Have a great evening.